Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about more pilots that were very heroic and saved their planes. Number one, British Airways Flight 38. British Airways Flight 38 was attempting to land at Heathrow Airport in the UK after a very long flight over Russia. It had The flight has 152 people aboard. Then, shortly before landing at um, Heathrow Airport, it lost both engines somehow. Somehow the flight lost both engines. They both uh, flamed out at the same time. So the pilot had to make a crucial decision. What should he do? Um, increase the flaps? Or um, glide into the field? So what he did was increase the flaps, which did save his jet. It crashed into a field. Um, 47 people were injured. I think only five were considered serious. And all 152 people survived. The pilots were both declared heroes for saving 152 people. Number two, British Airways Flight 5390. On June 10th, 1990, British Airways Flight 5390 was taking off from the UK. And then he was heading for Spain. The flight has 87 people aboard, passengers and crew. And shortly after takeoff, while reaching 17,000 feet above the air, in the air, the flight had an explosive decompression. The cockpit, one of the cockpit windows blew out. And guess who went with it? The pilot. The pilot was halfway sucked out of the jet. <laughs> yes, you did hear that correctly. He was halfway sucked out of the jet. And the fl so the co-pilot had to re land his plane with no pilot and um ha everything being blown out. The co-pilot tried to declare an emergency, but nobody could hear him. So he landed his jet right back where they came from. Well, actually, it wasn't really right back where they came from. They landed at um, another airport in the UK. And Kopai was declared a hero once he landed his jet. Surprisingly, the pilot went to the hospital and survived. And he was back flying five months later. Number three. British Airways Flight 9. British Airways Flight 9 was heading for Perth, Australia. When it had St. Elmo's fire, when it flew through an erupting volcano, it lost all four of its engines and it was 263 people aboard halfway through the ocean, flying over Indonesia. The pilots were able to safely land their jet in Perth, Australia, saving all 263 people aboard. The pilots were also declared heroes for saving 263 people aboard and flying through a volcano which was brazen, which they didn't notice the volcano. They didn't know they were flying through a volcano because no nothing was showing up on radar. Number four, Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751. Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751 was taking off from Stockholm, Sweden. But shortly after takeoff, both engines, the, le the left and right engine, both started surging mid -fl shortly after takeoff. Then the left engine and the right engine cut out, um, cut out, and then stopped two seconds after each other. So now the st now the Scandinavian airline flight was now a big glider. The DC nine glided in near a field, and was gliding over a densely a dense forest. So the pilot, um. Captain Rasmussen attempted to land into a field, which he did. Then the plane broke up into three pieces once it landed in a field. L somehow, one, all 129 people aboard the flight survived. Captain Rasmussen was declared a hero as well, along with his co-pilot. It was maintenance error that caused this flight to crash. Um, Number five. Number five is going to be, on June 9th, 1996, Eastwind Flight 517 
had a rather hard over shortly before landing in Richmond, Virginia. The flight had, I don't know how, mu how much passengers were on the flight. I'm going to say around 155. Um, the flight had rudder hard over. The pilot did safely land in Richmond, Virginia after recovering from two rudder hard overs where the plane, um, um, rolled over to one side. It's where the rudder, if you don't know what rudder hard over is, it's where the rudder, um, with no pilot input turns to one side and then stays there. And then the controls reverse, so left becomes right, and right becomes left. And yeah, the flight had one injury aboard. They safely landed in Richmond, Virginia, saving all, everybody aboard the flight. And that was a streak. Actually, there was two more um, rudder hard overs before that, 1991 and 1994. I'm not going to talk about those. Okay, we're going to talk about... Uh, I think that's going to be all for today, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Be strong.